Hi guys, it's France Papillon. Welcome to week 112 of the Journal on Monday series. This is the last double spread of my handmade Coptic binded art journal. And after spraying some water, I'm applying some um, silks from Color Art. I'm mixing up three several colors to create a warm and honey like background. And if you would like the details about these colors, you can find the complete list of ingredients on my website. Under the tab Inspiration, you will also find the link to the Journal on Monday uh, page of my website as well. So as you can see, I keep up mixing some water because I want to keep it very soft and very blended. Um, yet I want to cover up the white of the background. I don't want to see the white anymore. Once I'm happy with the result and it's completely dry, I'm adding some stamping and I'm using two of my uh, Stampedique stamps. Then I'm stamping with VersaFine ink. I'm not trying to create a smooth stamping, so I'm really randomly repeating the stamp. Again, quickly heat setting it so that I can go in with the next layer, which this time is some heavy gesso from Finovar. And I'm going to apply it using a brayer so that the background still is visible but pushed back to the background even more. So it's a very thin layer and it would also add some interest as to the texture of the paper. I already have a lot going on underneath because this is the end of my um, journal. So I have quite some bumps to work over and this is interesting because it will add a lot of different uh, texture uh, to my gesso while I'm applying it. Today's video is 11 minutes long and it took me less than 45 minutes to do it because first of all I'm way behind with my work. Like every mom I sometimes have to give priority to my kids. <laughs> Um, so this is a good moment to get back in touch with things for myself because it's my journal so I get to do whatever I want to. Um, but I had to do it quickly and luckily for me today I knew what I wanted to do. This is Finovar Light Paste and the difference with modeling paste is that it's lighter like the name sa says. and. As I'm applying it very thinly and as it is lighter, it will dry pretty, pretty fast. It's not totally dry yet, though I decided to keep on going and already add my edges with archival ink. As I have a lot of um, gesso and acrylic underneath, um, distress ink wouldn't be that happy, so I'm using archival ink. And I'm being careful not to smudge my light paste. It's almost dry, so accelerating it with a bit of uh, the heat gun. Then I'm going back in with uh, the heavy white Art Basics gesso, but this time I'm applying it in a light, in a dry brush technique. So I'm really picking up a very little amount of um, gesso on my brush, and I'm not pushing my brush on the paper. I'm just slightly. Uh, swiffing it over the texture so that it takes more on the texture than on the paper itself. And then again, very quickly, making sure that it's dry. I'm 
I'm adding a strip of masking tape. And this will be my uh, guide for the next step. For the next step, I'm using Color Art Silks again. And that's when I realized that I haven't showed you my new ring yet, which I received from Cheryl Foils. I hope I'm saying this correctly. Thank you so, so much, Cheryl. I absolutely love my new ring. And it has a lot of success. <laughs> so mixing up some of the Color Art uh, Silks with water and then working alongside my masking tape. This will not prevent the ink from going underneath, but it will give me um, a line to work along. And I should have zoomed out a bit so that you could see everything that it is I'm doing, because I'm also being careful not to swipe my book through the um, diluted um, silk just like I did with the paper. So I keep on going back in with uh, the diluted silk as well as with water. I'm heat setting this first layer before I go in with a second one so that I can accentuate the color a bit more. Now that this first color is completely dried, I can go in with a contrasting color and I'm absolutely over the moon happy that Color Art has a rusty looking like um, silk, which you can see here, and it's the autumn leaf color. It just looks like liquid rust. So I'm just doing the same thing, some water on the paper and then some diluted silk and then some more water to run, to make it run. And as you can see, the silk did go underneath, but I really like how it uh, created that line of color underneath. Accentuating the rust color a bit more. and creating some drippage as well with that color. Now, as I have some color over, I also want to create some splatters with it. And then I'm taking a uh, black colored color art silk so that I can add some uh, black splatters as well. So same thing, I'm just taking some of the paint, adding some water and then splatters on the page. Now I don't want this black to stay this harsh on the paper, so I'm drying it halfway through and then I'm picking up the excess uh, paint. And then the same with some white, but for this I'm using um, Art Basics Heavy Gesso, which I'm diluting with water. Using this Crafters work Workshop stencil and just some Distress Ink because I want to keep it very soft and in the background. I'm adding some more um, details to the spread and I'm using several shades of the brown uh, Distress Ink. Choosing the one and only embellishment that I want to use for this spread and I'm going for a rusted butterfly and as you can see I have several of those and I'm choosing the one that has the rust pattern that suits me for this spread. 
and I want to place a bread in it as well, so I'm just punching a hole. Then using my uh, precision bottle in which I placed Art Basics soft matte gel, I'm just gluing it down. I didn't want to place the bread through the paper because the, um, the other side is already done and I don't want to alter it in any way. Then adding my wording, which is very su um, suitable for me for this week, and then the date stamp. Then I remember that I had this little tiny piece of ticket that would uh, fit well on this spread. And that's it for today. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you back next time. Ta-da!